What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. More battery man action. All right, so we're going first. Um, again, not like super crazy about going first, but we're going first in this situation. We've got Call of the Haunted, Traps Done, and uh, Charger, which we don't want. You know, actually, all three of those cards are, are technically live. That's the funny thing. They're not live right now, but they're live like in my upcoming turn. Um, so we're going to take that call of the haunted and we're going to set micro cell, um, Muratek and double cyclone. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. That was no good. <laughs> All right. That was supposed to be set. That was supposed to be set. We were not supposed to reveal that. He knows two of the cards in our five card hand. That's no good. All right. We'll just have to play through it. Whatever. Hopefully I'm playing against Shadows. I always beat that deck. <clears throat> Hopefully we're not playing against Burning Abyss. I always lose to that deck. Burning Abyss, worst matchup for Battery Men. Oh, wow. Looks like we're going to have a Battery Man mirror. This should be interesting. <laughs> Which means definitely um, next turn is pretty much YOLO. He doesn't technically know. Now, nah, yes, he does. He saw Charger. So, anyways, old school battery man versus new school battery man. I guess I guess they're both new school versions. He's just playing the Thunder version, the like the Thunder family version with Kaiser Seahorse and stuff. I play that version too. Um, they're both really good. This version with artifacts is just more fun. So. What is he going to do? <clears throat> this is the question that we have to ask ourselves. Obviously, he's going to summon 9 Volt. Okay, so looks like he's just going to um, go 9 Volt search pass. He has another 9 Volt in his hand, which means. Alright, so he gets Charger. Yeah, this is straight Battery Man Mirror Match. This is fun because it's going to be nothing but OTKs. Alright, so. We activate our effect, unless he has Forbidden Chalice. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get Charger as well. <laughs> this is going to be so dumb. <laughs> we draw a card because it was slipped. We drew a fuel cell. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so, so stupid. So... <clears throat> All right, we got to save our double cyclone in case he wants to get frisky on us and set call to haunted. Okay, I guess we don't. Um, all right. Uh, if that sank them, I'm gonna feel really bad. And I like how it always goes to the one that I want. Don't be sanctum, please. Don't be sanctum or ignition. All right, come on, dude. It's trap stun. All right. So um, we've got the OTK right now, unless he has uh, what's it called? Unless he has a fat veiler, we have the OTK already. If it, if he max sees us, I don't care. I'm still gonna go for the OTK. <clears throat> All right. So we just go ham, and then we. Hopefully, yep, we got it. <laughs> we got the OTK. All right, so I'm not quite sure what the sign in this. <laughs> like, I'm keeping in all my back row hate. I know that. I think we might go for max C's, but I don't have anything else in here that does anything. I'm not. I'm not actually like prepared for this matchup pretty much at all. So I think. Oh my god, I took Book of Moon out of my deck. I am so bad. I think we're just gonna go max C's for dualities. I think I think that's all I can do. I don't have any more back row hate. I've got Malcat, but the problem is with Malcat, your opponent has to attack, and I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's gonna be that advantageous for me to get Malcat. So, Battery Men Mirror Match, baby. This card right here is awful in the mirror match, because your opponent just be like, Monarch Stormforth? And you see I got the ultimate back row hate. 
<laughs> I got the ultimate back row hate hand, but I'm going second, and he already has charger, so it's like, what? <laughs> I bet you I'd be willing to bet money. I'm going to get games here. I'm going to set micro cell, and then he is immediately going to go uh, Monarch Stoneforth Charger, and I'm going to get freaking just, I'm going to get butt raped. We're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, so he gets Fuel Cell, a.k.a. What's it called? AKA um, Gotham's, not Gotham's, Fall Troll. Uh, we're MST, of course. Because <laughs> if it's called a haunted, I don't care. Misses timing. <clears throat> it's, uh, that, that card is win, it's not if. Yeah, so I, I think that's dumb. They, they should have made, they should have made him um, not miss timing. So. Uh, I guess we'll just set everything for, I mean, just to scare him, maybe. <laughs> I wish I had vanities right now. Uh, do we have an MST down here? Um, yes, we have an MST. Okay. Blind MST. Ah, he's using that. I don't like that trap card. I feel like it's, like, super slow. Okay, so we have Micro Cell. And he goes max C, which is fine because I'm only going to give him one draw. I'm not going to go for, um, wait, if I can pull off the LTK, I actually will. Damn, I can't, I, I can't use Sanctum and attack. I guess we were both thinking max C's basically. Okay, if I get full troll, that is still only 21. That's, yeah, it's only 42 damage. So we're not going to take that. I think. We're just gonna go nine volt, nine volt, because there's, there's there's no is like no real sense in trying to OTK. We'll just give him the one card. <clears throat> I mean, I I got trap stuns for days. What did he discard or what about what I MST the portal battery pack? All right, so he got a one for one. That's good for him. I know he I know he's fishing. Yeah, he's fishing for a stone for hard. He got it. Alright, so the only thing we really have to stop him is Sanctum, and that's it. <laughs> the OTKs are real, man, what can you say? And I only run three defensive cards, so now he's in the position to do the OTK. Alright, one, two, does he have three? Um, yeah, we have to take those attacks. Uh, now is when I think, should I artifact sink them now or should I take, because if he has a lance, then he wins. I don't think we can risk it. Yeah. We're going to go artifact sink them. I can't, I can't risk losing to a lance. All right, so we can kill that. Unless he has a Forbidden Chalice. He can crash. Okay, main phase two. Okay, he returns this to my hand, which is great because we have double Cyclone. He cannot exceed. I hope he knows that. And then we drew Monarch Stormforth, but... All right, we'll just have to go YOLO. We'll just have to go straight YOLO. Um, <sighs> problem is, well, I guess there was no point of, I don't know, I've got Trap Stun set right. All right, so yeah, we have to, this is Trap Stun, Double Cyclone. Let's bring down the big guy for what, right? <clears throat> Let's attack one of these bums. Alright, he seems to have no response. So, we'll set that there. Um, I don't legitimately think that there's any reason to use anything else to commit anything else on the board. And we'll just pass. It's 
cool that we got double cyclone and that he didn't have a chainable trap. I mean, it could be a breakthrough. No, it wasn't a breakthrough skill. If it was a breakthrough skill, he'd used it on 9 volt. It could be a call to Haunted. I think he probably would have used it, though. Either way, the fact that he returned our moral tech was actually good because, again, we have double cyclone. Um, I'm a huge fan of double cyclone. Like, if I'm running artifacts, double cyclone is, especially in this deck, because you can OTK. I guess that's why a lot of hat players didn't like it because hat was a slow paced deck. But in battery man, you, you can see where you, you flip some in a micro cell and that literally can turn into an OTK. So double cyclone, a lot of times you'll be like monarch stormforth. You get rid of your opponent's monster and then you chain double cyclone on the, uh, the monarch stormforth. Basically you use, you use double cyclone, not only to trigger artifacts as an MST, but then it's like anytime you activate a spell or a trap, you can just chain it off of that card. You know what I mean? You can be like Pot of Duality, Monarch Stormforth, the Duality. You know what I mean? <clears throat> breakthrough skill, Monarch Stormforth, off the Breakthrough skill. So, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So, we're going to go after the card he just set. And our Muratek. And he knows it's Muratek. <clears throat> and he scoops it up. <laughs> he had traps done. <laughs> yeah, he, it looks like he, it looks like he kind of breaks. And my hand wasn't any better, but with the monsters that I had on board, we would have been able to do some work. So thank you guys for watching as always.